After a quick 5-0 start to the season, the Bennett Academy Red Wings kick off their home schedule with a matchup against ESCC foe Notre Dame. Last year, the state runner-up Red Wings were undefeated at home and they also won both meetings against the Dons. In the first quarter, Blake Fagbemi hits Gabe Solarski on the backdoor cut and he dumps it off for Colin Stack for the finish at the rim. Bennett is up 7-5 with just over a minute left in the quarter. On the other end, Ryder Rea penetrates into the paint and kicks it out to Liam Ingles in the corner and he shoots it over the contest and gets it to drop. Bennett is still up 10-8 with a minute to go in the first. Now in the second quarter, this is Brendan Fletcher powering his way towards the rim, giving a shot fake then using the glass for two. That one knots things up at 10 early on in the quarter. With the game still tied up, Brady Sellhorse has the ball and goes to work near the free throw line. He fights through the tough defense and uses the soft touch off the glass for the bucket. Notre Dame takes a 14-12 lead with just under six minutes left in the half. Fletcher tries to add to the lead, but it's off, and the Red Wings recover it and go the other way. Jason Garcia pushes the ball up the court and then tosses it to Patrick Welsh on the wing, and his three ball is up and good. That one puts Bennett back on top, 15-14. Bennett back with the ball with a minute left in the half. Solarski gives to Jaden Wright, and he's able to get a step into the paint, spins back, and hits the mid-range jumper. With that, the Red Wings' lead extends to 19-14. Fast forward to the second half. Ingles maneuvers around the screen from Brandon Jost, then tosses back to him on the pop, and he drills his second triple of the quarter. The Dons take a 26-21 lead and force Bennett to take a timeout. Moments later, Wright gets a defender to jump at a shot fake, and he drives and kicks it out to Fagbemi wide open in the corner as he knocks it down. His long-range connection cuts the lead to 26-24 with three minutes left in the third. After regaining the lead in the fourth corner, Bennett nearly gets a steal by Solarski, but the Dons retain possession and get an open look for Rea, and that's nothing but net. Notre Dame is up 31-30 with 5.30 to go. On the other end, Fagbemi surveys the floor from the wing, and he spots right on the dive cut to the rim, and he's able to get the bucket after the pump fake. The Red Wings take a 34-31 lead with a little over four minutes left in the game. On the next possession, Ingles relocates after passing the sell horse in the post and connects from deep again. That three-pointer ties the game up at 34 with three minutes left in the fourth. Now with less than two minutes in the game, Sularski has the ball in the post. Patrick Walsh makes a quick cut to the rim and Sularski hits him for the easy two. The Red Wings are up three with a minute 30 left in the game. Just seconds later, Solarski jumps the pass, leading to an open lane for the dunk, and he sends it through. That one has everyone in the building fired up as Bennett extends the lead to five with just over a minute to play. The Dons are in desperation mode down by six. Fagbemi swats the layup attempt, and the Red Wings dribble out the clock to win their home opener. They take down Notre Dame 40-34, improving to 6-0 on the young season. The game plan going in was taking away their best three players and we did okay with that but we still got to get better and take away our best, their best options and that's usually what we do and gives us a good chance to win. Yeah, yeah the team started off slow but I made a couple shots, got the team going but it was our defense, you know, getting stops and running our transition, that's our best game so if we continue to do that we should be good and focus home game, yeah, just got the jitters out of the way I guess, yeah.